Hi everyone. Now that we have a better understanding of KTM structures and functions in the kernel, it's time to document better the vulnerable function in Ghidra. Everything that we'll be documenting will be useful not only for understanding the bug, but also for triggering the code of the vulnerable function, and then later to actually develop better exploit primitives. So how do we get better binary diffing? I can think about two aspects. The first one is about dealing with negative offsets. The second one is about importing structures into Ghidra. So all the accesses to the objects make sense. Okay, let's get started. So there is this concept of shifted pointer in IDA that solves the negative offset problem we saw when decompiling the vulnerable function and it solves it really well. If you remember in the vulnerable function, we saw negative offsets and these were when an address to a list entry element inside a structure was retrieved and then this pointer was used. And so a negative offset was used from this pointer and we realized in the debugger that this was due to the list entry being in the middle of another structure. And so what the C code was doing was that it was subtracting some offset to go back to the beginning of the structure before it could actually index the other elements of the structure from the actual base. So here we have an example of a simple mystruct structure with four elements. We have a character array, two integers, and a double. And there is a special notation in IDA that uses the shifted special keyword that allows to define a new type that is known in IDA as a shifted pointer. And so here we define the my pointer new type and we define it as an int pointer type and it is defined as being inside the my struct structure and being 20 bytes after the beginning of that structure. So here it is after the character array of 16 bytes and then the dummy integer which gives a total of 20 bytes and so it effectively points to the value variable and this is why we define the new type as an int star which is a pointer to an int because it points to the value, the third element. And so inside IDA, we could define a given variable to be of the type my pointer. And IDA would not only know its type, that it's a pointer to an, to an int, but also it would know that it is at offset 20 into my struct and so effectively point to the value element. And so for instance, if the RCX register holds the my pointer, shifted pointer, then if there was an access to RCX plus four, he would know that it is only four bytes after the value. So effectively it is actually accessing the fval and this is why here it's showing adjusted my pointer Eval. And so if there was an access to RCX minus four, you would know it is four bytes before the value. So effectively accessing the dummy integer. And so the notation used by the hex trace decompiler in IDA is the adjust macro, which stands for adjusted pointer, just to recall that it is a shifted pointer and that it offsets the other elements from a middle of a structure. And this is basically how the negative offsets are shown correctly in the decompiler. So now let's see how that would help in our vulnerable function. So this is the output from IDA. And we explain the concept in IDA because at the time of recording this, Ghidra doesn't support shifted pointer, but we'll see how to work around it in Ghidra later, don't worry. But for now, let's focus on IDA. So in this TM recover resource manager function, we can see some negative offsets here. And in the decompiled code, we already documented most types. So we know there is a care resource manager and it is accessing some mutex, accessing the state, the TM pointer, and also a pointer to the enlistment head element. And Finally, when it retrieves the enlistment head f-link here, we hold that into a current enlistment list entry. And when it accesses the current enlistment list entry, we can see the negative offset from that pointer and it saves it into v9. And then from that negative offset in v9, there are multiple accesses from an offset of ac or an offset of 40 here and here as well. And these two offsets should basically be computed by first subtracting the negative offsets to go to the beginning of a given structure and then adding the ac or 40 bytes to reach the right field inside the structure. And so in the previous code, we saw that it accesses the enlistment head inside the care resource manager. And so what happens with the enlistment head is that it is going to be a list entry, which is basically a linked list of care enlistments. But the flink and the blink pointers 
that are part of the list entry are actually pointers in the middle of the key enlistment structure. So they are filled before and after. And so when the enlistment head is accessed and we point inside a given key enlistment, the code will actually subtract the offset of next same RM to be at the beginning of the key enlistment before it is able to index the other fields inside of the key enlistment structure. So using IDA shifted pointer feature, we can define the new type which we name k enlistment next same rm pointer and here we could use any name really but the advantage of this naming is that we know exactly that it is a pointer to the next same rm field inside the k enlistment structure and it is actually a pointer to that field so because this next same rm is a list entry we define that new tab as a list entry pointer and also we define it as a shifted pointer inside the k enlistment structure at offset 88 due to the next MRM being at offset 88 from the start of the key enlistment structure. And so here I'm going to show you how to make sense of it. And so I have two slides, one with the code before any modification and another one with the code after modification. So we can see the difference and I'm going to switch between the two so you can see the actual improvement. And so the first thing we do to make sense of it is we change the type of the current enlistment list entry to be our new shifted pointer type that we have just defined. And so we define it as a k enlistment next same rm pointer since we know it points to the middle of the k enlistment structure at offset 88. And so if we just do that, the current line that used to be accessing a negative offset and a blink and we wouldn't know what it is, now it's actually showing as an adjusted pointer from the shifted pointer. And so we know, because no field is specified, that it's actually pointing to the beginning of the Kianisman structure now. And so basically what happens is the negative offset is replaced with the adjusted macro since it will indicate that the 88 byte subtraction makes it point to the beginning of the Kianisman structure. And so consequently, we can define the previous v9 as being a current enlistment and also we can define its type to be the k enlistment so instead of having v9 plus offset now we have current enlistment flag because it's defined at the right type so basically doing these two simple changes of types we basically have a very good code output we can see the offset of ac is replaced with current enlistment flags and instead of the access at offset 40 we have the current enlistment mutex also note above that instead of the simple flink access inside the list entry we now have the adjusted pointer and then next same rm flink so the difference is that it actually accesses the next same rm list entry and then the flink inside the list entry because it knows it's part of the k enlistment structure instead of just the list entry structure. So anyway, I don't know what you think, but personally, I really like this syntax and I find it really readable. So moving to Ghidra now, unfortunately, Ghidra doesn't support shifted pointer yet. And there is a GitHub issue asking to add support for it in a future version. So it's possible that they have added support for it since I have recorded that video. So going back to the key enlistment structure and the next same RM element at offset 88, we have actually found a workaround to be able to reference a pointer to that next same RM element, even though Ghidra doesn't support shifted pointers. And so basically the idea is to remove all the elements from the start of the structure and to move them at the end of the structure. So what we do is we used to have cookie up to next same TX before next same RM. And now they are all moved at the end, cookie until next same TX. You can see the offset that are below 88 and everything is shifted. And what we do is we define that as a new structure, which we name k enlistment shifted next MRM, which is kind of playing the same role as the shifted pointer structure we used to define in IDA. It is not as handy as the shifted pointer, as we'll see in a second, but it is good enough for most use cases. And so if we look at the Ghidra decompiler output, we had the negative offset like minus five or minus nine. And again, I'm showing you the output after the changes and we see there is no minus five anymore and it's actually accessing a specific field. So the minus nine here is replaced with a flag. And so after using the new shifted structure for the enlistment head address here, this is before, used to be a list entry, and now it's actually a new structure defined. We can see that all the accesses from the enlistment head address 
which is basically the pianisman shifted here, and then all the axes for the pianisman shifted are shown in a similar way to IDA. We can see the access to flags, the access to mutex, another one mutex here, flags, and the state, even the transaction field. They all look better than before, where we would have accesses to unknown flink or blink plus offset due to the negative offset being undefined. There is only one quirk of this method, which is that if it accesses an element in the structure before the next same RM field, it will actually show in the decompiler as a minus one index. So you can see here, it's accessing the mutex. There is a current enlistment minus one mutex and there's a current enlistment minus one mutex here. And it's as if it's showing the current enlistment as an array of this shifted enlistment structure. And this is basically due to the fact that now it's working with a structure like this. So even though we tricked it to point to the beginning of the, the field being the next MRM, the other fields are after. So it's, it's actually thinking about an array of this structure and it's accessing the previous one to be able to access the fields before. But in general, you can just ignore the minus one index thing and the code is still a lot more readable. So one more thing we want is to be able to add structures in Ghidra in a more automated way than just defining them one by one with the GUI. And so there is an easy way to import a C header file. So you would typically define all your KTM structures and dependencies into a single C header file that we name KTM types. H, for instance, and you would use Virgilius to find all the KTM structures and their dependencies. It does take some time to build such a header file, but once you have done it, the advantage is you can import it into any binary file from any version and you'll get all the types imported. So for instance, you can import it in both the vulnerable and patch file in Ghidra. And so you can, you can go into the file menu in the card brother in Ghidra, select a given configuration that you want to extend. So typically for Windows rated stuff, you would use one with Visual Studio in the name. And the advantage of using a good base configuration is that it will already have some known types that you don't need to define. And then you click on the plus sign and select your KTM types file you want to import and it will import all the structures from that file. When you click on the parse to program button, all of them will be imported into the context of the file that you are reversing. So it's pretty straightforward and fast to do once you know how to do it. And one last thing to say that this approach is useful for IDA as well. 